Hey, what's going on, beautiful people? It's Dante and Holly, and welcome to a little tutorial video about co op and how the fastest way is to co op, especially with a friend. In this video, I'm gonna first explain insight and explain like how and where to get the, uh, the, the items that are required to co-op. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you where to get the fastest way your insights together that you can co-op with your friend or just co-op with random people as fast as possible. In the top right corner where you can see your blood echoes, right underneath you're gonna see like this I symbol, that's insight. As soon as you've got your first insight, you wanna walk well, you want to come back to the hunter's dream and walk up here where you got your very first weapon and pistol. And right here, those little cute monsters are going to pop up and they're going to give you this item. The beckoning bell and the silencing blank. So the beckoning bell is used to summon your friend, uh, to summon in general, general summoning somebody into your world. And the silencing blank is used to uh, leave somebody's world. If you don't want to co-op or if something, whatever. If you just want to go out of the world, that's how you can back out. Now that we have cleared how to summon people, let's get into how to get summoned. To get summoned, you're going to need the small resonant bell. You're going to ring that bell and then it's gonna try to find a world for you. How that exactly works, I'm gonna explain in a few minutes. The small resonant bell can be obtained if you run up here to this little fountain. So most of you have maybe seen that you don't have li those little creatures in there, so you cannot um, purchase items, it's just not active for you yet. You would get the small resonant bell in this window under consumables and it will cost you one insight point. To activate this, I'm just gonna say vendor, you need in total, you need 10 insight points with you. Now beware, if you have 10 insight points and you talk to him and you buy something else and back out as soon as you drop on the nine the vendor's gonna disappear again well he's just gonna go back into his water you need 10 or he will leave so make sure as soon as you have 10 buy everything what that you want to buy and then first back out of the window and now i'm gonna show you guys how to get 10 insight points the fastest way so that you can meet up with your friends as soon as possible here we go what we want to do is we want to find ourselves an item that's called Madman's Knowledge. In Central Yarnum, we can find two Madman's Knowledges. I hope that's English right now. Um, I'm going to show you now where to get the first one. And then I'm going to show you where to get the second one. With the first Madman's not. Yes, I died there. Don't just, just, just don't ask. <laughs> We want to first get definitely the first madman's knowledge because with that, like I said, we get one in... Uh, well, each madman's knowledge gives us one insight point. And with the very first insight point, that's how we get our bell to summon somebody. And right here is the madman's knowledge. On that corpse, you can't see it right now, but it's right there. The second madman's knowledge is technically where we just were. You would just want to go down the ladder again and go to your left. Pass those little boats, take out the two rats, and you're gonna see a second corpse, and that and that corpse will hold the second madman's knowledge. So now we have two of them. So now we have collected two madman's knowledges. So that means we have now two insight points. We are still missing eight. The other eight we will get by defeating the first two bosses, because it works like this. When you encounter a boss, you get one insight point. You cannot farm the one point by encountering a boss because you only get one insight point for the very first time you encounter a boss. And when you defeat a boss, you get additional three. So each boss will give us in total four insight points. So that means we will have to defeat the first two bosses to gain eight insight points and with the other two that we just collected with the madman's knowledge we will finally have 10 and with those 10 we can go then to our messenger and we can buy the small resonant bell 
I'm gonna show you now where you can find the first two bosses and it's really really important do not use your beckoning bell. Do not summon anybody for help because every time you use your beckoning bell, it's gonna cost you one insight point. So yes, if you want to summon somebody, you have to pay one insight point. Our goal is to reach 10 as fast as possible. So do not use your bell. Do not summon anybody until you have your 10 and until you bought the small resonant bell. We are back on the bridge where we were to reach the sewers to get the two madman skulls. And if you go straight ahead, that's where you're gonna encounter your first boss. And now we are back at the same location where we got the two madman skulls. And I'm gonna show you now how to reach the second boss, so follow me. From here, we want to go directly left. And this is where you're going to encounter your second boss. Now that we got all our 10 points together, you can go up to that little fountain to the messenger, aka vendor, and you can buy your small resonant bell. What you want to do first though, if you want to connect with a friend, go into your settings, go on network, and you can change it to local or worldwide. You can choose if you want to show your character name or your PSN and you can set a password. So if you want to just connect with a specific friend, type in a password. I'm just going to do now like one, two, three, four, done. And your friend will have to do the same. He has to have the same password, one, two, three, four. And one person is going to ring them the beckoning bell, which is going to cost one insight point. And your other friend with the same password is going to use the small resonant bell. Using the small resonant bell doesn't cost um, any insight points or nothing. It's basically free. And that's how you then connect with your friend. If you have a password set, it's it's going to try, as far as I know, it's going to try to always connect. You, well, it is going to try to always connect you with your friend. But I've tried to connect then with random people and I was standing around not getting connected with anybody. So if you want to play randomly, you will have to take out your password. That was my experience until now. If you get summoned, so if you use your small resonant bell, and if you defeat the boss with the summoner, you will get one insight point. So that's an easy way for you to farm further on more insight points, helping people, for example, now at the second boss or maybe even at the first one. We hope this video helped you to understand co-op and how it exactly works and how to connect with a friend. If you enjoyed this video and you are new to our channel, you might want to check out our other videos and hopefully we're going to see you there in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. You want my pebble, bitch? They don't give a sh. Why the fuck do I even have pebbles if they don't even give a shit? It's a dog. A dog doesn't. What? Do I need a fucking wood stick? Oh, now you give a shit? Oh, yeah. oh I smashed my pebble right in his face. <laughs> what, is he, what is he doing? He's like, ow, that hurt.